Hello everyone, it's me again, GW Fan the Softcore Brony, welcoming you to my desktop for a special bonus episode of Let's Play Philly Fantasy 6 version 2.0. Why am I showing you my desktop, you might ask? Because funny classes. Specifically the file that comes with the uh the ROM, as it were. The reason I bring this up is because despite what the instructions that come with the game claims, you cannot just open this as a normal file unless you already have a program that recognizes IPS files. The reason is because uh, IPS files are used pretty much exclusively for ROM hacking. Normally, if you tried to double-click on one of these two programs, you would get a familiar little pop-up that says something to the effect of choose an application to run this program with, and you would get a choice of probably Word and Adobe Reader, maybe Media Player, various other programs or rather applications that you either came with the computer by default or that you installed yourself. And unless one of them is an IPS reader already, then none of them are going to be able to figure out what the heck to do with the IPS file. You'll just get something that says, like, you know, cannot read or, you know, something of that sort. So what I want to do is basically show you how to get this onto this. And in order to do that, uh, I want to basically just show you how to download an IPS program if you don't already have one and well how to work it what I like to use personally is lunar IPS which you can see right there in the types because I already have this set up for it I already have it on my computer but in case you don't just you know go into your you know browser type in lunar IPS in Google or Bing or whatever it is you happen to use or just type in this uh, URL right here, I, as of the making of this video, this still works, and you'll come up to a page like this, like on romhacking.net, I'm sure it's on a bunch of other sites as well, but Lunar IPS, I like this one, well, partly because it was the first one I ever used, but also because it's free, and because, uh, various virus scanning programs like Norton here re recognize it as safe, and I'm Pretty sure most other ones do as well, and most IPS programs, I think, are recognized as safe. But in any case, here I've got this uh, particular site here. I just want to download file now, and we're going to get this, yeah, copy and paste the following. So yeah, just copy all that, not counting the parentheses at the end. Just copy, paste that here. I am human, as far as I know, anyway, and I'm just going to copy it to my downloads fo folder here, save that, I mean, I don't need to, because I already have it, but I just want to show that, and it should just go right off, right off the bat, well, actually, I already had that open there, but then, let's see, just kill that real quick, and we'll have a zipped folder, and a lot of computers nowadays actually come with some form of unzipping program already installed nowadays. Uh, if you don't have anything or just for whatever reason can't unzip it, uh, I suggest uh, 7-zip file, which again you can do with just uh, googling or binging or whatever you want to use. Again, I like to use this one because it's free and again most virus scanners you don't see it as safe. So once you do, you can just extract all and, well, choose the destination folder, which by default is the folder that it's already in. And, you know, press extract and it'll open it up there. I already have it, so I don't need that to do that. And in fact, once you have extracted it all, you can just delete that, doesn't matter. And now I have my, well, LIPS or Lunar IPS 102 up here. And now, since I have that, I don't even have to, like, install it on the computer or anything. Uh, if I try to double-click this and, you know, that little pop-up is going to come up, you know, choose the application, I can just choose the Lunar IPS. And now, if I double-click it, the instructions that come with it make sense because I can just, you know, do what it was saying. 
But otherwise, what I can do is just go into the Lunar IPS, I choose it, and we'll get this little tiny box here. All I want to do is say apply IPS patch, it will go uh, by default to its own, itself, this file. So downloads, Philly Fantasy set, uh, 7, 6! <laughs> I got the funny names that I want to choose, or funny classes, excuse me, and then it'll automatically default to the same folder that I got it out of. So this conveniently is right here. I choose this. It's been patched. So what you can do from there, which I actually screwed up doing earlier because I tried to open the wrong copy because, yeah, I put it onto this copy right here. So what you can do either is just open up whatever your in Super NES emulator is, the, or the, whether it be the SNES 9X or the uh, ZSNES one, or you can just double click from here. Or what I want to do, I want to copy this one and put it into my regular folder for Super NES games. Yeah, just replace. Thank you. And yeah, it'll be right down there. Let's see, Philly Fantasy 6 version 2.0, not 1.0 there. And just boot it up. Either do my uh, save state or a save file like this one. And as you can see, their name, 7 Eben Change. Yeah, Book Horse, Sunbutt, Robot, Egomaniac, and various other things. I'm actually going to. Uh, keep the funny names on uh, here for the foreseeable future since I just have a little bit left to go in the game so I might as well just for the heck of it. <laughs> I don't know if any of them are too long yet. I haven't actually tested this out so we'll find out about that as well as I uh, do a couple of little minor side quests and go through the final dungeon uh, beginning next time on Let's Play Bailey Fantasy 6 version 2.0. Arrivederci!